Alright, so now this video is an unboxing of a sealing wax kit that I purchased from Amazon Prime. Uh, it says it's a wax seal stamp kit with gift box, and it's currently on sale for $23.99. Um, I've wanted to try wax sealing before, so let's see what it does, or what we have. It does have a nice box to it. So it looks like the very first thing we have in here is a 10 pack of tea candles for lighting. Uh, it comes with a metallic gold and a metallic silver pen. Uh, I believe these are for once you've actually stamped in the wax and it has cooled. Um, you can go back in and detail with these. Uh, has a kit of all different color waxes. Let's see here. I'm gonna open this up. Move this box out of the way so I can open this for you guys. Alright, so it does have a lot of pretty colors. We got some greens, some teals, and it looks like they feel very not wax like they feel almost like plastic um but i assume that's just the type that uh, wax sealing uses so let's put these aside so the next item is the little wax melter and inside of this little bag that it comes with we do have a stamp so this one looks like a little tree And it comes with the melting spoon, which you're supposed to put like that. And it comes with some gold dust or glitter, and that's it for inside of there. We also have a pair of tweezers that come with this. Not 100% sure what the tweezer part of this is for, except for maybe putting, uh, grabbing a hold of the wax to put it in here. Uh, it also comes with some envelopes. It's a bunch of different colors. Alright, so let me just grab a random piece of paper over here. Excuse me. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper and put it aside for now. Uh, we are going to try this out. So bear with me. off so it does look like the hole goes right over it so let's go ahead and light this all right and then we're gonna put this right over it all right let's make sure that's not sorry hand in the way I just want to make sure it wasn't burning my phone all right and then we are going to put this on here and let's do I don't know how many chunks of this we're gonna need, but I've seen other people do this and they typically do three or four. So I'm gonna pick these three and let that melt. Now I'm told you need paper towels, which I did not grab, so let me get up and grab that while this melts. So just a minute. Oh, it's a lot closer than I expected. So once this melts, we're supposed to pour that on there. And while the stamp is drying or hardening, um, they say you're supposed to clean out the little spoon as soon as possible so that um, it doesn't get clogged in there. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'll come back when it's melted. All right, so we are back now and it does look like it is melted. So I'm gonna move this to the side a little. Paper here. You can definitely smell the wax. So there is a scent to this, that's for sure. All right, so then you just pour it on the paper. I guess I should have probably done more than three. And then you 
put the stamp down. And like I said, while that's drying, they're saying that you should be cleaning out this part of the wax so that it does not get stuck in there. And they said to be very careful because it does get very hot. Ooh, that's an awful noise. Oh, it's very messy too. Okay. Well, I guess you live and you learn on these. It's taking a couple of sweet uh, swipes of this in here to try to get that out. And it's definitely very hot, so watch yourself on that one. I'm going to go ahead and blow that out so I don't start any other issues. And like I said, as you can see, it is pretty difficult to get all of that out, but um, it might be just because it's still really hot, so it's just kind of goobering around. See, it's all stuck to this. All right, so we'll put that there, and let's see what happened. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see this. And it's cool to the touch already, so let's go ahead and try out one of these markers. So I used a goldish color in this, um, apparently. I didn't realize I used a goldish color. I thought I had... Uh, actually, no, I remember putting that in. Never mind. So let's go ahead and use a silver. And they say you just use that to go over. So they must have different kinds of pens like this. Um, it just says a craft work pen, so I don't know exactly what kind of pen this is, and unfortunately it is not in English, so I could not tell you if there's a certain brand that you need, but it does just say metallic craft work. So in case if you want other colors. But um, that came out pretty cool. Alright, thank you for watching.